Hi there, I'm John Nelson from the Doherty Art Center, and today we're going to take the ceramic sculptures we made in previous tutorials, and we're going to learn a very simple but effective way to add glaze that really pops out those textures. First off, this is greenware. It has not been fired yet, so it is super fragile. Lystic expialidocious. So you have to be careful. We are going to start off by using an underglaze for a base coat. I use these uh, velvet underglazes. And we're going to cover almost the entire project in this base coat. After it's all covered, we can get a lighter color to add some highlights and a little variety. I'm just lightly brushing over in spots to hit those textures. After that, we can start adding base coats to all the details. And there we go, the entire project is covered in a base coat. So now after giving it some time to completely dry out, we'll put it in the kiln and bisque fire it to cone 06. So now this has been fired to cone 06 and we are ready to pop out those textures. Now I like to use a very dark velvet underglaze, normally black, but really you could use any color you want to for shadows. So you're going to glaze over the entire thing, making sure you get underglaze deep inside all those texture cracks and crevices. You can also use a syringe to get into all those hard to reach areas. We'll touch it up, maybe add on some more coats for darker areas. And then we get a sponge, dip it in the water and wring it out so it's just damp, and lightly start wiping away the dark underglaze. If the sponge is too wet or you press down too hard, you'll lose all those texture shadows, so be careful with it. The point is to keep the dark glaze in the cracks and crevices and wipe away the dark glaze from the highlighted areas. You can use different size sponges to get those hard to reach areas. When you're satisfied with how it looks, you can go back over for some touch-ups. And there we go. If you wanted to, you can go over your project with a clear coat of glaze. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison to see the difference bringing out those textures makes. And now it's time to pop this baby in the kiln and fire it to the desired temperature. So that's a simple technique you can use to really bring out those textures on your project. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out more videos from the Doherty Art Center.